Hello, this is cubes lesson two. In this, I will discuss if we paint the cube, then we cut the cube, then how many pieces will have color on how many surfaces. That what we need to find. Now, first question is a cube is painted red and this cut into three forty three smaller and identical pieces by minimum possible number of cuts. This is the cube I have made. So first, I will paint this cube red. Then I will cut this cube into 343 smaller but identical pieces now you can see that i have painted this cube red and i have named the corners as a b c d e f g and the h corner you can't see so whenever you have to make the cube in your paper you have to make only three surfaces here i have shown three surfaces that is front surface right surface and the top surface that is what you need to make now what the question says that we need to cut this cube into 343 smaller but identical pieces now with minimum possible number of cuts so we know that if the cuts are we know that if the cuts are d1 direction d2 direction and d3 direction if the cuts are x y and z cuts we make the number of pieces number of pieces we will have that will be equals to x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z plus 1 that will be number of pieces now we want that with minimum possible number of cuts we want the pieces should be 343 now you must know know that 343 is 7 cube so minimum number of cuts would be when this 7 into 7 into 7 will become 343 that's the number of pieces so x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z plus 1 can i say it should be 7 into 7 into 7 Then it becomes three forty three. X plus one is seven. X would be six. Y plus one is seven. Y would be six. Z plus one is seven. Z will be six. So number of cuts would be number total number of cuts we we can make is x plus y plus z. That is six plus six plus six. Eighteen total number of cuts we can make. It means six cuts in each directions. If we make six cut in each direction, then you will. have your cube cut into 343 smaller but identical pieces now you should first cut on your make a cube cut the, cut it into 343 smaller but identical pieces now we have to apply six cuts in all direction you should apply i am applying and then i will let you know how to solve the questions now you can see that i have applied six cuts in each direction now my cube is cut into 343 smaller but identical pieces now what the first question says that How many smaller pieces have exactly three surface painted? Now exactly three surface painted. The location is corner cube. Exactly three surface painted cubes will be the corner cubes. Now how many corners cube we have? Eight corners cubes. So exactly three surface painted smaller pieces will be eight. Now you can see that corner G the Cube at corner G have exactly three surface painted. I am just making a tick mark. You can see that this is the one surface of corner G, corner cube G, that is painted with red. This is another surface from the top, and this is the third surface on the right. This one I am making tick mark. You can see that the three surface of corner cube G are painted red. So that will true for each and every corner. So very important. Exactly three surface painted. The those cubes will lie on the corners, and we have eight corners. So there will be eight cubes with exactly three surface painted. Now second question is how many smaller pieces have exactly two painted surface? Now exactly two painted surface or surface painted S P will be the those cubes which lie on the edges except corners we have to leave the corners because corners cubes have three surface painted so very simple edges except corners those cubes we need to count now how many edges we have we have 12 edges one of them is fg i am taking fg as you will see carefully how many cubes are there on fg as there are seven cubes on each as there are seven cubes you can see that ab as there are seven cubes smaller ones on bc as there are also seven and same way on the height that is cd's there are also seven cubes that you can see 
that's why our volume would be 7 into 7 into 7 343 smaller one pieces now fg there are seven cubes but we have don't have to take the corner ones so how many left five cubes will be there that will have exactly two colors on them i'm just making those i'm just showing you on fg you can see that this is red painted this is red painted so this cube there is a paint on two surfaces this is cube number one there is second cube this is also two surface painted red second cube i'm making this second cube third cube also this is also two surface this is one surface this is one other surface that is painted red this is fourth cube this is red and on the top there is also red this is a fifth cube this is red and on the top there is also red so there are five cubes on each edge that have exactly two surface painted so total would be how much five there are five cubes on each edge that has that have two surface painted so we have 12 edges 12 into 5 60 cubes will be there that have exactly two surface painted how to count count very simple edges except corners so in this case we have seven cubes on each edge if we leave the corner ones we will left with only five cubes that have exactly two surface painted not only for seven if we have the if you generalize this question for all kind of question for example if you say that there are n cubes rather than rather than seven cubes if i take n cubes are there n cubes are there on each edge there are n cubes we don't take seven we take let's say there are n cubes eight 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 nine 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 or ten 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 then what will be my answer now my answer will be for the two surface painted i know that on each edge there are n cubes but if we leave the corner ones we have left with n minus 2 cubes on each edge that will have exactly two surface painted n minus 2 cubes on each edge leaving the corner ones and we have 12 edges so there will be n minus 2 into 12 total cubes that have exactly two surface painted so don't have to cram you have to understand the things Question third is how many smaller pieces have exactly one painted surface? Now exactly one painted surface, what will be the location? Exactly one surface painted, the location will be surface. Those cubes will lie on the surface. Surfaces except edges. Surfaces except edges. We don't have to include the edges on the surface. Now what kind of surface we have? Each surface we have each surface of 7 cross 7 cubes each surface have dimension 7 into 7 that is 49 cubes are there on each surface you can see that now each surface is of 7 into 7 cubes if i will remove the edges what i will left with i'm just showing you this is the part i will left with i have removed the ed edge i'm not taking ed edge i am removing edges from all side each surface have four edges so if you exclude all the edges you are left with that part that i have circled with a yellow now you can see that if i will remove the edges if i won't take edges in the surface the what i will left with i will left with this 5 cross 5 sur dimension surface this is there are 5 cubes on this side and there are 5 on this side so total i have 25 cubes that will be there that have exactly one surface painted you can see that this is red this is red this is only one surface painted in this cube the second cube again uh, one surface painted with red so our actual dimension was 7 into 7 once you remove the edges dimension will reduce by 2 so 7 cross 7 will become 5 cross 5 so 5 cross 5 that is 25 cubes will be there that is 25 cubes will be there that have exactly one surface painted on each surface now we have six surface so six into 25 total 150 cubes will be there which have exactly one surface painted again i am revising whenever you need to count exactly one surface painted you have to take surfaces except edges so actual dimension of the surface was seven into seven if you remove the edges you will left with the surface of 5 cross 5 that is 25 cubes on each surface and we have 6 surfaces 
so total 150 cubes will be there that have exactly one surface painted and what about the generalized method n if we have n into n into n dimension cube it means that we have actually we have n into n surface if you have n into n surface actually so exactly one surface painted would be how much again if a, there is a surface of n into n if you remove the edges from the surface so surface dimension will be reduced by 2 n minus 2 into n minus 2 that will be the cubes on each surface and we have six surfaces so n minus 2 into n minus 2 into 6 that will be answer for those cubes which have exactly one surface painted question 4 is how many smaller pieces have no painted surface so when i say no painted surface we need to count some student uh, used to do they used to subtract the pieces which have color on them so don't need to do like this no surface no painted surface means that you if you see this uh, cubes carefully uh, we have painted this cube on the top on the inside cube there is no paint it's like painting the wall if you paint the wall there will be paint on the uppermost brick and there won't be any paint on the inside bricks same is true for this cube we have painted this cube red from the top there will be so many cubes inside this cube bigger cube which have no surface painted so how we will do this we will remove the topmost layer so this met method for this is remove topmost layer from each surface remove topmost layer from each surface because paint is there only on the topmost layer if you remove the topmost layer from each surface you will left with the cubes that have no surface painted so what we have to do you have to remove the topmost layer from each surface now actual dimension of the cube were how much actual dimension of the cube was 7 into 7 into 7 length we have 7 cubes breadth we have 7 cubes and height we have also 7 cubes now if you remove the topmost layer remove the topmost layer tml means topmost layer if you remove how many what kind of dimension you will left now if you remove the top and the bottom layer top layer means e d g f if you remove the top layer and the bottom layer your height will reduce by dimension of 2 so height will left with 5 same way if you remove the left and the right layer left layer and the right layer your length will become 5 units length will have 5 cubes on them and same way if you remove the front and back again your breadth will also will have 5 cubes so total we have 5 into 5 into 5 125 cubes will be there that have no color so simplest method is that you have to remove the topmost layer from the each surface because there is a paint on the only on the topmost surface if you remove the topmost layer each and every dimension will reduce by two units actually we have a cube of 7 into 7 into 7 that is 343 dimensions so we left with 5 into 5 into 5 our generalized cases if i have actual dimension of length breadth and height actual dimension i have n into n into n no now if i remove the topmost layers from each surface if i remove topmost layer from each surface topmost layer remove rtml stand for remove topmost layer so i will have n minus 2 into n minus 2 into n minus 2 dimension of cube that will be left which have no surface painted after removing the topmost layer so that will be my answer in this case n was 7 so our answer was 5 into 5 into 5 125 now summarizing so first uh, question was exactly three surface painted exactly three surface painted that will be the corner cubes corner cubes that will be the eight cubes will be there which have exactly three surface painted exactly two surface painted you will have to go for edges they will lie on edges except corners edges except corners that will be the location now how many edges we have we have 12 edges on each edge there are seven cubes out of which we don't have to take the corner ones 
so we will left with the five cubes on each edge that have exactly two surface painted so 5 into 12 my answer would be 60 cubes that will be have exactly two surface painted exactly one surface painted i will go to the surface except edges surfaces except edges because edges have two surface painted so i need only one surface painted so edges surfaces except edges now my surface was of 7 into 7 if i remove the edges my actual surface was of 7 into 7 if i remove the edges from the surface my dimensions will be 5 into 5 each dimension will reduce by 2 units so 7 cross 7 becomes 5 into 5 that have exactly one surface printed as you can see on the top surface 5 into 5 dimensions uh, surfaces will be left on each surface so 5 into 5 into i have total six surfaces so total there will be 150 cubes now no surface painted remove the topmost layer remove topmost layer rtml remove topmost layer from each surface if your actual dimension was 7 into 7 into 7 length breadth and height once you remove the topmost layers your each dimension will reduce by two units so inside cube will have dimension 5 into 5 into 5 and no surface painted so there will be 125 cubes that have no surface painted now that was all about cubes lesson 2 in this i will discuss we paint the cube cut into pieces then which kind of surf which kinds of cube will have how many surface painted thank you